Hey guys, Baby Boop Cosplays here. Um, this video is very, very different than normal. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna be talking about like conventions and stuff like that um, while crocheting because I had to change my plans last minute for Fanex. Um, I am going this year, as you guys probably already know, and I'm going all three days. So, on Saturday, I had to change my plans to be a different character, and I was trying to decide what to give people, because I have to give something to people for each character every day. So, I found, like, this little, like, five-minute pattern of stars. These are the only two I made so far, but I still have, like, a month. It's in a month from today. Well, in a month from yesterday, actually. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to be talking about conventions. And what to expect? I should probably write down a list of things to say, so I will be right back. Okay, I have a list that should be long enough. Um, <laughs> okay, so I want to start with talking about um, cosplays to wear to a convention. Um, you can wear pretty much anything. Um, I would check the con's standards. Um, I know some... Um, conventions don't allow certain cosplays or costumes and it um you also want to be careful on what you wear too because it can lead to either harming you or someone else in a way um i'll get to that later um but yeah you want to make sure that your cosplay fits the convention's guidelines, and if you're wearing any, like, huge, huge costumes, like a giant ball gown, or, like, you, you're you wearing, like, a really big foam suit, like, like an animatronic costume from Five Nights at Freddy's or something, um, and just, like, being careful if your costume is taking up a lot of space. Because that will be a big deal later in the future for you and for the other people in the convention. Um, and then for cosplay contests, um, I have not participated in any um, because I'm not quite confident in my cosplays enough to do it. Anyone can do um, uh, contests. Um, I know some contests have, like, specific age ranges, um, and then there's, like, different categories. There's novice, journeyman, and mastery. I've been doing a lot of research on that kind of stuff recently, so, um, so novice is, like, pretty much a beginner to contests and you and you're like not sure like where you stand so you chose novice because that's where you felt right and um yeah there have been moments where people would uh go into the wrong category like there have been people who would overestimate how good they are or underestimate how good they are um like, there's been some people who should be a novice that would be in journeyman, and then some people who would be in journeyman but should be in... Uh, I, that's the same thing, wow. There's some people that should be in journeyman but are in novice. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Um, but yeah, I would check see what the con standards are for the contest or like what the contest standard standards are wow i cannot english today um i also don't have my microphone over here it's over there and the lighting is horrible because i'm sitting on my floor and i am lazy so <laughs> it's fine we're living with it um also my hair's a greasy mess and i have not combed it <laughs> This was just a last minute thing. Someone to talk to while I crochet. Um, and then... Um, celebrities. Um, 
This kind of depends on the convention. Most conventions will have celebrities. If not all conventions will have celebrities to, like, visit and stuff. Um, I know there's some conventions that lets you see the celebrities without buying an autograph. And some where you have to buy an autograph to see the celebrity. And some where it doesn't matter just what the celebrity prefers. Um, but it is safer just to buy an autograph from the from the celebrity. Um, they are really expensive, so I would save up a lot of money to go to, to, like, go to conventions and meet celebrities and stuff. Like, I am trying so hard to not spend my money, but there are so many things I need for FanX that I'm just trying to find out, like, thrift stores because I don't have the money. Um, so I'm just living my best life as broke cosplayer um and then um yeah mo uh some celebrities will let you see them without like an autograph and stuff but maybe the convention doesn't allow it so you just need to check the convention standards and um make sure that you can see them without buying an autograph, because I know there are some conventions like that. Um, I don't think my convention is like that, so I have to buy an autograph to visit people, so I'm probably only going to see two of the five people I want to see. Actually, I want to see more than five. I want to see, like, seven, but, um, I only have, well, I have five, uh, $10 vouchers for seeing celebrities since I have a VIP pass this year. Um, but... That all their tickets are still um, $40 with the voucher. So, I am probably only going to see two of them. And I'm probably going to end up with like $200 to spend at the convention. Um, and I want that to last through train rides to get to the convention. Um, which each train ride is like $5 and I'm going for three days. So that's $15 already spent. And then I'm, and then I'm probably gonna buy like a few things each day, but I don't know how much they'll be. So that will probably be around like a hundred dollars. And then there's the celebrities, that will be eighty since I'm planning on visiting only two. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. <sighs> and then we have. Artist Alley. Um, this is where you'll find, like, most of the shops. is like, Artist Alley and the vendor floor. Um, and Artist Alley and the vendor floor are often, like, in the same kind of area. Or at least in the convention I go to, they're in the same area. So I just wander around both. Artist Alley is, like, the biggest area at my convention. Like, it's right next to Celebrity Hall, um, and, um, it takes up, like, half the place. Like, not even joking, it takes up, like, half the place. Then the other half is just, like, little shops or food or just vendors, you know? <laughs> um... I do get to go into the vendor floor early since I have VIP tickets. Um, I have another friend that has VIP tickets, but we're only going to be characters together for one day. Um, I'm not going to reveal the characters yet because I have a special video coming for that. Um, I need to cosplay all the characters again though, so I'm able to actually do it. Hand finish the pants of one of the characters. But yeah, I mean, last year I only went one day, so I just revealed who I was with just a little YouTube short while cosplaying him, which was Bill Cipher. Um, I try not to repeat characters because I have so many cosplays that I want people to see, and Bill Cipher is, like, my favorite cosplay that I've ever done. So, like, I 
I don't do him very often because it is a lot of layers and plus it's summer. Well, not. It's almost fall. <laughs> um, but like the weather has been like really hot so it's been really hard to cosplay him with the weather and stuff. So that's why I don't do him very often because he has so many layers um, that I just sweat to death. But I do love cosplaying him. He is my favorite cosplay. Um, and then there's panels. Um, most conventions will have a schedule of when the panels are and what room. Or at least mine does. Like, they have it both posted on their website and um, have it on a bunch of little posters around the convention. So, it's easy to find um, where each of the things are. Um, I don't really go to many panels because they do take up a lot of the time, um, and there haven't really been any panels I was interested in, but I do love going to the karaoke because that is, because that one is just, you can sing a song and leave whenever, come whenever. Panels, you won't really get anything unless you stay the whole time, so I figured there's really no point in going to them, um... But you can go to them if you want. I'm not saying that they're a bad thing to go to. Um, I just prefer to watch, like, people being in character and cosplay in fandoms that I'm in. But my convention doesn't really do many of those panels. I know, I tried to, um, sign up to do a panel last year. Um, uh, mine didn't really get rejected, but it was on hold. But no one, uh, backed down out of the convention, so I wasn't able to get a spot in there, so. Let me just snip off the extras. Ow. I pinched my finger. Okay. Um, yeah, there's not really much to say about panels. Um, besides, like, follow the panel rules that the panelists give you if they do give you any rules. They often will, um, just for their safety. And for other people's safety as well. Okay, here's the uncomfortable part. The creeps. Um, I actually had to deal with a creep once. Um, it wasn't that bad. Like, it, it really wasn't bad, like, at all. But it, mainly because I was, like, with a group of friends. Um, but it wasn't at a convention. It was at a mall. Um... My friends and I, uh, were at Hot Topic, and, um, I was wearing my Vox cosplay, and, you know, he has, like, a really big TV head, um, with, like, antennas, and I was looking at, like, the shirts and stuff, and, uh, this guy came up to me and just, like, started talking to me, like, he was all friendly at first, but then, um, he just started following me and my friends around. Not around the mall, but just around Hot Topic. Um, and it did feel a little uncomfortable. Like, we were all like, okay, this is getting kind of weird. And, um, I even, like, mentioned that I'm a minor, so then I, so then he would probably back off a little. Um, and, um, it wasn't until, like, my friend... My friend pulled me aside and was like, yeah, I think that guy is following us. And I'm like, yeah, I kind of noticed. So we told the um, employee at the moment. And um, the employee was like, yeah, I've kind of been watching him. Uh, just call my name if you need anything. Um, and then what we did was my friend yelled that we were going to a different store in the mall. And then we went the opposite direction of the place we said we were going. So then he hopefully wouldn't follow us anymore. After that, um, he didn't follow us anymore, but more about, like, the TV head and stuff. He was, like, touching the antennas of the TV head. Um, I asked him to stop touching it, and he did, so at least that's a good sign. Um, but yeah, that's the only time I ever dealt with a creep, but I knew exactly what to do. So, yeah. Um, but if you ever do deal with a creep at a convention and you're alone, please, please, please... Go find another group to hang out with. Um, this will be a lifesaver. 
Um, you, if you're alone at a convention and a creep is following you, go to a random group of people and you can even, like, tell them that the guy was following you. And I guarantee they'll be more than happy to help you. Um, like, just pretend to, like, be their friends and stuff and the creep will hopefully go away. If it, if he doesn't go away... Then we can call, then you call security, um, and yeah. One second, I'm just struggling with this stitch. There we go. Um, but yeah, um, no one should ever have to deal with a creep. Like, even if you're at my convention, come find me, I will, I will be your friend. <laughs> Um, I've been told I'm a very fun person to talk to, um, although I do tend to talk a lot, <laughs> mainly about cosplay and the plays I'm in and stuff. I'm just more, like, chill on- online, um, and I'm more chill than I used to be. Like, if you've seen my randomness in cosplay videos, I'm a lot more chill than that now, um, like- way 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 more chill uh to be fair how old was i when i posted that like 13 maybe it was four years ago so yeah i was probably like 13 um or at least my first one was like three or four years ago <laughs> My first randomness and cosplay video. I've tried to record a few other ones, but none of them had, like, the same energy and weren't really that fun to edit. Uh. Besides, now that I'm more mature, most of my conversations are just about normal life stuff and not, um, in character stuff like that. Unless I'm in, like, a play. <laughs> Funny story, I may or may not have caused some funny drama in my Newsies group chat, um, so my Newsies character, his name is Ducky, he, um, was found on the docks by the Bronx, because he was abandoned by his parents by the docks, and, um, uh, he ended up going to the refuge, and, uh, Brooklyn saved him, and Bronx didn't, so now... Bronx and Brooklyn were just fighting over him in the whole group chat. That's what that was. Uh, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, you just... Um, at first you can, like, be polite to the creep. Like, um... Tell them that, uh, like, you notice that they've been following you and ask them to, like, please stop. If they keep doing it, then I would go to other people, and then if he- if the creep keeps doing it even with- even when you're with other people, then I would get security. Um, I know some people aren't as nice as that, but I am a pushover, um, <laughs> so, yeah, I have a hard time, like, like, I'm a people pleaser, so I have a hard time, like, being mean to people and telling them to back off. Um, but if I really, really have to, then I will. Um, but yeah. Well, second one done in under 20 minutes. Yay! Okay. Um... And then pics and videos. Um, this one kind of piggybacks off the creeps, but also not. Because there are some really, really nice people that will want pictures with you. Um, like, genuinely want pictures with you. And then some that want weird pictures of you. Um, this has never happened to me. Uh, most of the time, people just wanted normal pictures with me. Uh... And it was oftentimes other cosplayers that wanted pictures with me. And a lot of them were kind of in character too. Last year, um, I was in my Bill Cipher cosplay. Half those pictures, those people asked 
me for a picture. Um, like, I couldn't take two steps without someone wanting a picture with me. And, it, and honestly, I loved it. That was the most attention I ever got from a cosplay. Um, and I just really loved it. Like, I, I'm like, I like their cosplay, so I'll take a picture with them too. And I did. And I loved it. And that day will always, well, for now, that's probably the best day of my life. Um, but yeah. And then, but still, if someone's, like, taking pictures or videos of you without your permission, then that is not okay, and you should ask them to stop. And if they don't, do the same thing, call security. Um, um, but, um, like, even if you're fine with pictures but they're doing it without permission, then it's it's just not okay if they do it without permission. But if they ask for your permission and you like pictures, then say yes. But if you don't want pictures, it's perfectly fine to say no. Um, so yeah, you can just do whatever you want with that. Um, Just do what you are comfortable with, and try your best to not fall too much out of your comfort zone. But yeah, this year I'm doing kind of two group cosplays. Uh, one of them is more of a duo than the other one is a group of three. Um, I'm still not going to tell you what it is yet, because I want that to be a surprise. Um, but yeah, I've already recorded for like 22 minutes, and that's usually my um, minimum for my videos. Um, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my website, um, which is sites.google.com slash view slash babyweavecosplays. Um, and there you can find updates on like when my videos will be posted or estimate of what time they'll be posted or stuff like that. I really need to update it a little. Um, I now have a laptop that is not my school laptop. My school laptop does not allow me to... Um, like, do anything like that on it, so I just kind of suffer. <laughs> but now I have a laptop. It is a really, really old one, because it was my mom's old one, like, I think it's like a 20, 2019 laptop, I want to say, maybe older. Um, but yeah, it is really, really old, but it works perfectly fine, so... I'm still not going to use a computer for my video editing because I prefer to do it on my phone. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, comment down below, like one, what you think I'll be cosplaying for FanX, and two, um, what cosplays you want to see me cosplay. And I'll see y'all next time. Love y'all. Bye!